How giving yourself the permission to live your best life makes you high value and feminine. Hi, my name is Unique Spanda and welcome to the Black Swan Relationship Academy. I am your online dating coach as well as your style concierge here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Today I'm going to veer off a little bit from what I normally talk about and I want to talk about what really actually makes you high value and feminine. And as I reflect on the, the challenge that we've been doing in Swan City, and it's not late to still join, the links are all in the description box. You can still join us on this journey of the Nice Girl Rehab. It started off as a challenge, but all of us coaches have been challenged in so many ways, um, like literally thinking about what life are we living? What, what, what really makes us feminine? And what really makes us high value? And what makes us black swans? Because femininity is such a, a complex subject, uh, which we haven't never really uh, explored until this day. And now we're really pushing the boundaries and explaining it and expanding on it a lot more. So feel free to join us on Swan City. I will be in there every Wednesday or Thursday, checking up on you to see how you're doing with the challenge. It's not too late to actually download the Nice Girl Rehab replay, which is now on the courses. Again, if you check out the description box, everything is all there for you. So as I was saying, in this last week, we were reflecting about giving yourself the permission to live your best life. And in the challenge, the ladies were tasked to take themselves on a date. And you would not believe how difficult it was to take yourself on a date because you're always doing for other people besides yourself. You are always managing other people's expectations. You're always managing everybody else's um, lives besides yours. And that, ladies, is not the feminine way. The feminine way is gracious to herself first and then everybody else. In being gracious to yourself, then you allow yourself to be able to receive that love that you want to receive. So before I go anywhere, do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. What is your femininity journey like at this moment? The reason I wanted to veer off a little bit because it's been such, it's been really impressed on my heart that Sometimes we really try and live up to the expectations of everybody else around us. I'm a lone parent, so at times my, my main thing and my main mind will always go to mothering, which is predominantly a masculine role. And I'm sure you've heard Chengi explain this a few times, that the, the idea of providing, protecting and cherishing is, is a masculine role. So therefore, when you're a mother, you stay in that masculine space and you end up in a point where you can start to resent your kids because you're not living your best life. You're literally living their best life through their eyes. And my challenge really was when it came to dating because I felt like I had to find someone that suited my daughter and my life and how she wanted things to be. But I had to really come to a point, especially now when we're doing the last week of the Nice Girl Rehab, to give myself the permission to really enjoy dating, to give myself the permission to be a woman again, to give myself the permission to just breathe, to give myself the permission to not be another responsible adult trying to get home, uh, trying to make sure that my daughter's got something to do. Yes, those are responsibilities that we have, but there comes a point where we need to differentiate between overdoing our tasks and just being present in the moments that we want to be in. So the ladies were tasked to do a challenge where they uh, took themselves out on a date and most of them didn't really know how to. Most of the ladies actually decided they were going to take a walk. Most of the ladies decided they were going to do lunch. But the thing is, what we had to come to realize is, as a feminine woman, we cannot expect certain treatment when we don't even know what that treatment looks like, how to receive that particular treatment. We were, I, we then tasked them to actually take yourself out on a proper date. 
book an Uber ride if you have to. Make sure you get that dress up, do the music. Make as though you are going on a date and date yourself. Because ideally, ladies, for a first date, you would not want a guy who takes you out for a walk, right? Because it will seem really low investment to you. So what we want is high investment. And for you to be able to receive high investment, you need to be able to do it for yourself and acknowledge that you deserve that high investment because when you don't believe it in yourself no one else can give it to you and you receive it in the manner that you're supposed to receive it so i was just really looking into the whole journey of of femininity and how we then show up online most of us are showing up online in 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 a in a mode of it's daunting it's long it's this it's that but what we're doing is we're literally taking the perceptions of other people's experience and what we're doing as well as taking the perceptions of our own previous experience into this new space so what we're doing we're not allowing the best version of ourselves to come forward and we're not allowing the best that could happen to come to us because we've already limited it based on the experiences that we've already had so when we're online dating this is where we really have to check ourselves um and which is why i love the black swan relationship academy because all the courses are there for you to be able to master all of these things even if you ever never paid for any coaching you literally have every single tool in hand for you to be able to to continue on this journey of femininity so when we actually look at the at, at the courses especially the energy mastery you notice that energy is 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 red how you treat yourself is how everybody else is going to treat yourself how you then perceive life is how life is going to perceive you and which is why we have to show up at our best. We have to allow ourselves to experience our best, best life and allow ourselves to experience our best opportunities because opportunity can come and sometimes because we're not prepared for it, we miss the opportunity. So when you are prepared for it, when you're prepared to receive the best life, that is what makes you high value and feminine. Having money does not make you necessarily high value. Having, having stuff does not necessarily make you high value and feminine. Femininity is something that you have to embody from the very core of who you are. And that always starts with yourself. There's something that I read online about the traits of femininity. I literally, there's quite a few of them. Um, and I'll put all the details in the description box of where I got all this information from. Um, so the feminine energy is intuitive. We need to go into spaces using our intuition, which is really powerful. We cannot live our lives based on what our mothers expected of us, based on what our parents expected of us. And we cannot expect our daughters to live their lives based on what we expect of them. They literally have to create what they deem as their best version of their life. They literally have to create what they deem as their version of the best life and give them permission to actually do that. It, it, it's almost as if sometimes we seek for permission outside ourselves when really the permission we need to give ourselves is our own heart. And another thing when it comes to feminine energy, it is, it's, it's, it's heart centered. So when you live a life that is heart centered, you move with compassion, you move with acceptance, you move with, with forgiveness, with collaboration. You also move with creativity and sensuality because you're coming from a place from your heart and not your mind. And when we get stuck in our mind, ladies, that is when we shift into masculine energy. Yes, we're in, when we're in the workplace, we need to have our minds on and we need to be able to exist in that corporate space and, and do the things we're supposed to do. But predominantly what we wanna stay in is in our heart because that is where the feminine energy thrives. And more than anything, when you talk about sensuality, apart from being kind and being gentle, 
there's also the sensual side of femininity that's why we wear dresses that's why we encourage you to dress, wear dresses i'm not saying it's by force we encourage you to wear dresses because what it does to you psychologically it puts you in a more restful state it puts you in a more together state it puts you in a more flowy state right because that is what dresses do it puts you in a more pretty state so that is why we encourage you to wear dresses more than trousers or anything else um sticking on that sensual part as well we also talk about your undergarments make sure you feel good from the inside out now you've done your work you've done the small soulmate attraction you've done your energy mastery you've done your feminine mastery you've done how to flirt and date you've done all the courses that you need so now all we're doing is now you're working from the inside which is why even when i advise ladies when we come for a consultation i always tell you make sure you have the right underwear for you to for it to support what you're wearing on the outside it always starts from the inside and even when we're married ladies let's not forget the to give ourselves permission to enjoy the intimacy we have with our partners don't forget to give yourself the permission to to actually enjoy being loved on to actually enjoy being provided because i know it can be a bit mundane when we get the husband when we get the boyfriend we get the fiance it now becomes humdrum and we literally end up in a space where it becomes a duty that is when we're now stuck in our head and we've moved back into the masculine you as someone's wife you as someone's price you as someone's treasure should always get to enjoy that place Get to enjoy and remind yourself that you have the permission to enjoy the intimacy that he provides, to enjoy the protection that he provides. Because that's what we've been praying for, for a man that can, can protect you, can provide for you, can cherish you. But then when once we're in it, we tend to forget. So this is just a reminder, really. Your Friday reminder of give yourself permission to have your best life in whatever state you are. If you're single right now, give yourself the permission to date yourself. Give yourself the permission to surround yourself with the things that you do want in your life. If you're dating right now, give yourself the permission to enjoy the dates. Be present in that moment. Allow the men to lead. And we spoke about how to allow a man to lead in the previous conversation. You can always check out the video from last week. Um, allow the man to lead. Give yourself that permission, right? Give yourself the permission to be present in every single moment because this is where your best life happens and in the christian faith we know this very verse that says and now faith is whatever we do our faith moments are in the now there's also a, a book by Eckhart Tolle that says the power of now when you embrace the space that you're in right now this is where the magic happens this is where the femininity journey continues and is created on a daily basis so if if you're in a steady relationship enjoy the moments you have create safety for both of you create a comfort a kind and an and, and energetic creative spirit around the relationship allow the man to have that safe space that you can create for him to lay his heart on to lay his head on allow the the, the time that this relationship needs and when you're now on the other side of fiance and married Give yourself the permission to enjoy the relationship. Give yourself the permission to enjoy the perks of the relationship. As well as when we are mothers, ladies, enjoy being a mother. But also give yourself the permission to acknowledge that you are an amazing woman. This is really one of those videos that is just to encourage you to give yourself the permission. You don't need my permission or anybody else's permission to live your best life. Because at the end of the day, it is your life that really does matter to you and how you live it and let's get out of that whole nice girl and remember join the nice girl rehab because it's still going it's still on and popping in in, in swan city join us let's have some amazing time of realizing the value of the life that we've been given this precious gift of life we've been given and if anything let this be a reminder that you have the permission to live your best life and that is high value.
and that is feminine to live your best life but till then, ladies, I'm going to leave you on that note. And you have yourself an amazing weekend. Feel free to book a call and use the my discount code, which is also in the in the description box below. Have a look at all the, the things that you can do on Black, Black Swan Relationship, Relationship Academy. Join us on Swan City. Join us on Swan Nation, where we literally are actively dating and talking to, um, to ladies who are practicing this and reminding ourselves these are the kind of conversations we have in depth these are the kind of conversations we have when we have the lives these are the kind of questions that we answer on an ongoing basis and when you have that community that is able to support you you'll be able to thrive in your dating life you'll be able to thrive and just become a complete feminine gorgeous beautiful black swan Till then, ladies, I will see you next week. And you have yourself an amazing, amazing, amazing weekend. You are loved and you have the permission to love yourself. <laughs> Mwah.